So who's covered by OPRA? Well, it's the, the, the number of agencies that are covered by OPRA is sort of getting bigger every day. The, the easy ones are the school boards, um, the, uh, the, the municipalities, um, and you know, any, anything in county government, uh, housing authorities, uh, it's, a, it's a very broad definition of what a public agency is. Uh, the League of Municipalities is actually covered by OPRA. The, uh, the New Jersey School Boards Association is covered by OPRA. And I'll tell a funny story, this also involves Tina. Uh, we tried to get the Union County Association covered by OPRA. And the Union County Association, it's, it's essentially this nonprofit that was sort of, the only thing it ever did was, um, was publish a newsletter. And they published a newsletter like twice a year, and they spent like $200,000 publishing this, this newsletter. So we tried to get it subject, subjected to OPRA, and the trial court said no, and the appellate division said no, because it wasn't founded by members of a government agency. So what happened a year or two years later? Well, they were investigated by the, um, by the controller's office. All the bank records were missing. Their records didn't make any sense. The bank records had to be reconstructed. It wasn't really clear what, you know, what happened to the money. Um, so you know, they should have been subject to Oprah, because then Tina could have made Oprah requests and would reveal all these problems. Um, but that, that's sort of the outer limits of Oprah. Uh, yeah. Say a, a nonprofit agency that wasn't founded by uh, by, a, uh, by another government agency. Uh, volunteer fire companies are subject to OPRA. That's that's an interesting one. Uh, fire districts. I don't know if you guys have fire districts in this area. Fire districts are subject to OPRA. Um, what else is subject to OPRA? Talked about school boards. You know. Rock, you know, any any of the any state college, so Rutgers is subject to OPRA, even public hospitals. So UMDNJ before it was part of Rutgers, it was subject to OPRA. What about authorities like sewerage authorities. Excellent question. Yes, absolutely. Any type of sewer authority, uh, public utility, uh, Union, uh, Union County Improvement Authority, uh, all of those all those places are subject to OPRA. I mean, I'd say I'd say there's at least a thousand. Public agencies that are that are subject to OPRA, you'd be surprised. Um, you know, I once I once got a daycare center subject to OPRA because uh, the daycare center was actually founded by the members of the council of the town, and the and the, the members of the council of the town also controlled who was on the board of the nonprofit daycare. Um, I got I got the the, the fundraising nonprofit arm of Warren County Community College subjected to OPRA because the, the college itself retained control of who was on the board of the foundation. Uh, so you see the it's it's you kind of something it can be a little tricky but sometimes you have to really dig deep down who controls the board membership, who founded the, the organization, you know, with the with the um, with the, uh, with the daycare, we went, you know, we went to public records that were 35 years old. We went to the original incorporating documents, and you have the mayor forming the, the daycare. So it was subject to Oprah. 